Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode 19 and 20 of Avatar The Last Airbender. The season 2 finale is on its way. So... I, I just watched episode 18, and all I can say is is that um, I, I don't think that this is going to necessarily end happy. Um, uh, I, I don't know if it's all a trick by the Dai Li and Long Fang, um, with Azula being disguised as a Kyoshi warrior. You know, I, I'm, I'm very... Uh, I, I have faith in Katara and Toph to, I don't want to say defeat... Azula, May, and Tai Lee. Sorry, it's a lot of names. Um, but like, uh, I don't know if they can do it on their own. And I don't even know how we get Toph because she's been taken by Zing Fu, Master Yu. I had to look over at my post again. Ugh. You know what? There's certain names that are really, really important that I finally got right. So let's just be happy with that. <laughs> but you know, I, I don't, I don't think that the Earth King will be in charge for much longer. I do think that Long Fang will be let out, and the Dai Li will take over the Earth Kingdom again with the help of Azula and the Lady Gang. Um, I do think that Katara is going to be in some form of trouble, and the fact that Aang didn't say "I love you" before he left that makes me really worried and really sad. Um, I, I, I think it would have been like really wonderful if he had said, even if it wasn't, I love you, if it was just like, I really care about you, or I have feelings for you, or I'd like to kiss you, or, you know, um, your swell, whatever it may be that's coming from Aang, I think that that would have been lovely to have her here. But now I'm worried that because he didn't say it, something bad's going to happen. And then the fact that we're off to find Sokka's father, and I don't even know if that one, the message was real. Two, if it's valid, if it, it might just be a partial message just to get Sokka there and separate the group. Um, it, it could definitely be a ruse. Um, if he does meet up with his father, I'm excited for him, but I'm also scared unless the water nation goes and attacks the earth kingdom. But I don't know how you do that because you're the water nation. Where's the water leading up? I guess they have to have a sewer system heading in and out of the Earth Kingdom, but I, I, I still don't know. I still don't know. And then, of course, Aang going to the Eastern Air Temple to visit the Guru, and I'm hoping that that scroll didn't tip off Long Feng, and they have something set up to trap Aang once he gets there. Now that we have Appa, like, my heart is full, but, like, it is also full of sorrow because I don't know what happened to Suki. Um, I also don't know what happened to Jet, and, like, that's weighing heavily on me, especially now that we know that the Dali, like, underground thing at Lake Laogai has been destroyed. Like, what happened to Jet and Smellerby and Longshot? Like, where are they? Um, I'm... I've got a sense of dread happening right here, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, but, like, you know, the fact that, like, the girls showed up and they're in the Kyoshi Warrior makeup, and Suki is like missing. Like, what's going on with Suki? I don't know what's happening with Suki. I really like her. And then at, at all of this is going on. Uh, all of this is happening in the Earth Kingdom. All of this sense of dread that I'm feeling is happening. And Zuko is in, in a fight with himself about who he is and, and who he's about to become. You know, Uncle Iroh said he's going through a metamorphosis. You know, like... <laughs> It's not just a caterpillar that gets like wrapped up in a nice little bundle and then just unfurls and it's a butterfly like stuff happens inside of that cocoon that is not pleasant and that's what Zuko is going through right now and him kind of like seeing his mom and then like being named Fire Lord but like it wasn't really him he didn't have the scar uh, he had long hair um, it was Azula that was the blue dragon Iroh was the red dragon. I don't really know. I would like a little bit more of an explanation with that, but then, you know, he goes to splash water on his face and he sees Aang, or an older avatar. I mean, it looked like an airbender, and I'm assuming that it's Aang, but, like, you know, I, I kind of went into the last episode about how, like, 
they're kind of like a yin and yang, but not really because like, it's not that one is light and one is dark. One is fire and one is water. That's definitely a yin and a yang right there. But I, I would say that they are more alike than they are different. Um, and you know, maybe that like leads to a harmony, you know, I mean, normally the same types of music, even if it's different notes, but there's harmony. Now, if you have like heavy metal and like a harmonica that might clash, right? So where they're the same, they might still be copacetic. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so nervous to watch this, but I'm super excited because that means it's the end of season two. And then, which also makes me sad because that means season three is coming up and then we're almost done with this journey. And like I said, I will be watching Legends of Korra at that point, um, taking maybe like a week and maybe a couple days off to just kind of stretch my legs and give my eyes a little time to adjust. Um, but I, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I know it's completely different and I should not expect any of these characters to be part of it or even the animation style to be the same or the storytelling to be anything uh, even remotely like this. It's its own thing. So I'm very much looking forward to Korra. So I'm going to savor the flavor of Avatar as long as I possibly can. And, you know, uh, once Netflix gets going with the live action version, you know, um, we'll see. <laughs> But guys, I'm not going to dread something that hasn't even happened yet. I'm going to live in the here and now because that's where I'm the happiest. So let's get into it. Oh, and again, support the WGA and SAG-AFTRA. The link will be in the bio so you can buy your own t-shirt. Again, I got the pretty pink one, uh, but there's also uh, a couple other ones that you can purchase. And uh, the website is transfigureprint.com co.com and all the proceeds go to the WGA SAG after the people who are responsible for making these things uh, that they put their blood sweat and tears that they bend over backwards trying to give you guys wonderful beautiful things that I'm enjoying that you're enjoying and just remember that all the people that are listed at the end of a movie or a television show that you are watching those are the people that matter the most so that being said now let's get into it The guru. Okay, we're starting with the guru. All right. Oh, even better. I love when we start with that Uncle Iroh. What's that smell? It's juke. I'm sure you wouldn't like it. Juke? What's juke? Actually, I'd love a bull, Uncle. Now that your fever is gone, you seem different somehow. Hmm. It's a new day. We've got a new apartment. And today's the grand opening of your new tea shop. Things are looking up, Uncle. Oh, that's gonna be ruined fairly quickly for him. You haven't seen your dad in over two years. You must be so excited. <laughs> oh. I know I should be, but I just feel sick to my stomach. Yeah, he's nervous. He's gonna be so happy to see you. So what about you? Are you nervous to meet this guru? Not at all. I'm ready to master the Avatar state. I'll do whatever it takes. Oh. I believe in you, Aang. You got this, buddy. <laughs> Sokka, good to see you. Where's his dad? Sokka. <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> Look, Bosco. The Kyoshi warriors are here to protect us. Oh, Bosco, eat them. It's been a difficult week for me. My most trusted advisor and his Dai Li agents tried to take control of Ba Sing Se from me. Why don't you just tell them everything? The Council of Five is meeting to plan an invasion of the Fire Nation on the day of a solar eclipse. Ah! Now that sounds like a fascinating and brilliant plan. Ugh! So mad right now. In exactly two months, the army and navy will invade the Fire Nation. Oh, Momo. Or we could send in Momo to do some damage. <laughs> Cause, sorry. Yeah, gotta have an adult conversation here, girly. All we need is the Earth King's seal in order to execute the plan. I'll get these scrolls to him right away. Thank you, General Howe. 
Is she going to ask about Suki and they're not going to know what she's talking about? Or she's going to pick up on the fact that it's not the rest of the Kyoshi Warriors? Your Guru Patik, right? Indeed. I was a spiritual brother of your people and a personal friend of Monk Yatsu. Aww. You said you could teach me to gain control of the Avatar state. You must gain balance within yourself before you can bring balance to the world. Yes. And the first step to gaining balance begins with this. Drink up. Mmm. Cactus juice. Ugh. It tastes like onion and banana juice. Ugh. Worse. That's because it is. Yum, yum. Ew. Uh, I love onions. I hate banana. The Beifong Estate's this way. I'm quite certain you're mistaken. Hey, can you two old ladies quit your bickering for a second? <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Didn't think that one through, did ya? Okay, but make it quick. What's wrong with you? Oh, very sneaky tough. She probably has to pee. Let me out of here so I can kick both your butts. You might think you're the greatest earthbender in the world, but even you can't bend metal. Yet, maybe she can. We have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity, girls. May finally gets to wear makeup that's not totally depressing? <laughs> We're in perfect position to overthrow the Earth King. The key is the Dai Li. Whoever controls the Dai Li controls Ba Sing Se. Yep. She's a smart girl. I mean, I thought of it too, but she's a smart girl. In order to master the Avatar state, you must open all the chakras. Tell me everything you know about chakras. Hmm. What are chakras? Oh, I see. Energy centers, right? The water flows through this creek much like the energy flows through your body. There are several pools where the water swirls around before flowing on. These pools are like our chakras. So chakras are pools of spiraling energy in our bodies? Exactly. If nothing else were around, this creek would flow pure and clear. However, things tend to fall in the creek if we open the paths between the pools. The energy flows. Good analogy. I like it. Opening the chakras is an intense experience. Mm -hmm. And once you begin this process, you cannot stop until all seven are open. Okay. Are you ready? I am. I'll do whatever it takes. That a boy. First, we will open the earth chakra. It deals with survival and is blocked by fear. What are you most afraid of? Let your fears become clear to you. Really? Your vision is not real. Let your fears flow down the creek. You have opened your earth chakra. <sighs> Good job, buddy. One down, six to go. Next is the water chakra. Brilliant. Maybe one day you will be a guru too. <laughs> this chakra deals with pleasure and is blocked by guilt. Now, what do you blame yourself for? Oh. I ran away. Yeah. I hurt all of those people. Oh. Accept the reality that these things happen. Yeah. But do not let them cloud and poison your energy. If you are to be a positive influence on the world, you need to forgive yourself. He does. We've been using these tangle mines to stop the Fire Nation ships from getting through. Destructive, buoyant, and terrible smelling. <laughs> the mines are filled with skunkfish and seaweed. Ew. The seaweed tangles up the propeller, and the foul smell forces people to abandon the ship. I call it the stinkin' sink. <laughs> Good one, Dad. I see where You're he gets it from. Your <laughs> yep. <laughs> Akora, our scouts have spotted four Fire Nation ships. Mato, get these mines loaded up. The rest of you men, prepare for battle. 
You too. What should I do, Dad? Aren't you listening? I said the rest of you men get ready for battle. That's you! <laughs> I'm so happy for Sokka. Please don't let anything go wrong with this. Follow your passion, Zuko. And life will reward you. What's his passion? Congratulations, Uncle. I'm very thankful. You deserve it. Aww. The Jasmine Dragon will be the best tea shop in the city. No. I'm thankful because you decided to share this special day with me. It means more than you know. Now let's make these people some tea. I'm very disturbed by the positive yes. Zuko. <laughs> let's make some tea. <laughs> I'm so happy for him, though. Third is the fire chakra, located in the stomach. My fire chakra would like to eat something other than onion banana juice. <laughs> Good one. Moving on. <laughs> this chakra deals with willpower and is blocked by shame. Ah. What are your biggest disappointments in yourself? I'm never gonna firebend again. You will never find balance if you deny this part of your life. Yeah, you gotta forgive yourself. <sighs> that chakra opened less like a flowing creek. And more like a burping bison. <laughs> Tastes like onions and bananas, but strangely, something else. Pickles? Mm. Secret ingredient, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know how anyone can fight in this. Maybe that's why it was so easy to beat the Kiyoshi warriors and take their clothes. How much longer do we have to serve the Earth King? If I have to clean up one more pile of bear poop, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Princess Azula promised we would go back to the Fire Nation as soon as we capture the Avatar. Do you want the whole palace to know we're Fire Nation? Sorry. Good work, girls. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the Dai Li will deliver the message. I figured they were saying that on purpose. The fourth chakra is located in the heart. It deals with love. And is blocked by grief. Aww. Lay all your grief out in front of you. Aww. You have indeed felt a great loss. But love is a form of energy. The air nomad's love for you has not left this world. It is still inside of your heart and is reborn in the form of new love. <laughs> Let the pain flow away. Can I have some onion banana juice, please? No. <laughs> the fifth in the chain is the sound chakra. It deals with truth and is blocked by lies. The ones we tell ourselves. Why didn't you tell us you were the Avatar? Because I never wanted to be. You cannot lie about your own nature. You must accept that you are the Avatar. Yeah. You gotta accept who you are. Kind of like Zuko. The sixth pool of energy is the Light Chakra. It deals with insight and is blocked by illusion. Things you think are separate and different are actually one and the same. Like the Four Nations. Yes. We are all one people, but we live as if divided. Yeah. We're all connected. Everything is connected. That's what I said about Zuko, too. Even the separation of the four elements is an illusion. If you open your mind, you will see that all the elements are one. Four parts of the same whole. Even metal is just a part of Earth that has been purified and refined. Come on, Toph. Come on, metal. Fine. You got this, girl. Woo! Toph, you rule. Yeah, you do. Oh, I'm so proud of her. What do you say, Momo? A cup of tea before we get back to the king? Yes. Uncle, I need two jasmine, one green, and one lychee. Oh no! No! 
I didn't know what I really expected when she saw them. I thought she'd be like, oh my god, it's you guys! This is the last chakra, isn't it? Yes. Once you open this chakra, you'll be able to go in and out of the Avatar state at will. Let's do this. The thought chakra is blocked by earthly attachment. Meditate on what attaches you to this world. Yeah. And Appa and Sokka. Now, let all of those attachments go. Why would I let go of Katara? I, I love her. How could it be a bad thing that I feel an attachment to her? Three chakras ago, that was a good thing. You yeah. must learn to let go. Not forget. Just let go. The Fire Nation has infiltrated the city. I just saw Prince Zuko and his uncle. We have to tell the Earth King right away. I'll be sure to let him know. Yeah, girl. Ah! Dang it! Oh, Ty Lee, you're too good. To master the Avatar state, you must open all the chakras. Okay, I'll try. That's good. That's a start. Now think of your attachments and let them go. Let the pure cosmic energy flow. I don't know how you let go of attachments. That's really pretty to see, but I don't know what it means. Hey there. Oh, you were so close, Aang. Katara's in danger. I have to go. By choosing attachment, you have locked the chakra. If you leave now, you won't be able to go into the Avatar state at all. At all? Aang, oh no. It's another one of her tricks. Mm -mm. There's a giant hole in the box. How is that a trick? Exactly. It's the real deal. Nice. I am the greatest earthbender in the world. Don't you two dunderheads ever forget it. That's right. So strong she can bend metal. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's the best. I'm going to be stuck in here forever with you, aren't I? Oh. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Dad. I'll make you proud. Oh, a boomerang. You don't have to prove anything to me. I'm already proud of you. And I've always known you're a great warrior. Why do you think I trusted you to look after our tribe when I left? <laughs> Oh my god, please don't let anything bad happen. Oh. This can't be good news. Nope. What is this about? You will not treat a Kyoshi warrior this way. But you're not a Kyoshi warrior, are you? Princess Azula of the Fire Nation. He thinks he's so smart. It's time that I regain control of Ba Sing Se. Why should I help you? Because I can get you the Avatar. I'm listening. Does having the Avatar help her with her father at all? A message from the Royal Palace. I can't believe it. What is it, Uncle? We've been invited to serve tea to the Earth King. Tokyo Tree and Sakirako would like to invite everyone to experience Japan from the comfort of their own home through these snack boxes. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You'll get up to 20 of the latest exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. This month, we actually feature the sweet potato Kit Kats and they taste divine. Tsukiriko is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box that supports local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. You'll also receive booklets so you can learn more about your snacks, any allergen information, and it's a wealth of knowledge about the Japanese culture. In each book, 
is about the theme. In this book, they have monsters. Look at this angry guy. <laughs> Tokyo Treat's theme for October is, of course, the Halloween Snack Hall. Celebrate Halloween with Tokyo Treat's limited Halloween snack box that is filled with Halloween-inspired snacks like the Sweet Potato Kit Kats, Pokemon Halloween Choco Pie, and don't forget the soda-flavored jelly beans, because them be tasty. Sweet Potato Kit Kats. It tastes like Thanksgiving. Like a sweet potato pie. That is something. Salt and sesame oil potato chips. Give me those immediately. Mm, these are perfect. Oh yeah. These will probably taste wonderful together. It's just a Japanese cola. I'm very critical about my colas. Ooh, that already smells really good. Ooh, you get the hit of citrus right after. Tohato caramel corn. And I like the little package, how it has a face on it. Mmm. <laughs> I'm actually really glad this is a small bag because I would totally kill this whole thing right now. Tomato pretzels. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> Those are good. Ooh, jelly beans. It says soda mix gummy. Mmm. They totally taste like sodas. These are so good. A Pokemon Chaco Halloween pie. You gotta get them all. Look at that. It's perfect. Ooh, and we got some yummy yakisoba. Maybe I'll make this one for lunch. This month, Securitico partners with the Kyoto Prefectural Government for a limited edition box design inspired by the beauty of Kyoto's autumn season. Indulge in artisanal delicacies like Kyono Ame, Yuzu Duriyaki, and Securitico Banana White Chocolate. And this month's tableware item is a brocade flower dish, which is hand-painted by artisans at Bloom in the Gifu Prefecture. Ha! Tea. Roasted green tea that transports you to the serene streets of Kyoto. We'll see. Ooh, and it's caffeine-free. Yay! Oh, it already smells. It already smells so good. Look at that. It's so cute. Mmm, perfect green tea. Tasty. Okay, next we have the yuzu dorayaki. I love these because they look like little pancakes and they always taste so good. Mmm, that's good. That's real good. A matcha cream cookie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Zero disappointment in this cookie. Let's try the jelly, shall we? Oh! Ha! That is very fresh. That pear flavor is tasty. Hmm. Now I have a little candy dish for guests when they come over. Love it! So if you're interested in trying any of the snacks from Japan, or whether it is Securitico and it is from the Kyoto Prefecture, Guys, they're so tasty, I can't even tell you. Uh, there's not a disappointment in any of the boxes and they all taste so different from American snacks. Um, I think that's probably my favorite thing about it is that like the stuff that comes out of those boxes, you can't find here. But if you're interested in trying any, you can get $5 off. There is a discount code below uh, or you can click the link in the description box. But guys, I, I definitely would share these with friends and family. I just sent my niece one uh, for her birthday and they love food. They love Asian food. They love sushi. They love anything from Japan. Uh, so I'm sure that they're going to be fighting over snacks. Maybe I should have sent more than one box. You know what? In hindsight, I probably should have done that. Well, here we are. I can just order another month and send that again. Uh, but you can have several months. You can have one every month of the year if you want. So just click the description link down below and give it a try. Okay, guys, back to the show. The Crossroads of Destiny. Great. What is that? That's your girl Toph. Go get her. Need a ride? Ah! Yeah. This coup must be swift and decisive. Long Fang has placed you in my command. If I sense any disloyalty, I will snuff it out. I don't doubt that at all. Nice speech, Azula. It was pretty and poetic, but also scary in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to make that one guy pee his pants. <laughs> Many times I imagined myself at the threshold of the palace. But I always thought I would be here as a conqueror. Instead, 
We are the Earth King's personal guests. Destiny is a funny thing. It sure is, Uncle. Oh, I don't like this. So how did it go with the guru? Did you master the Avatar state? Uh, Look at her holding on to Sokka. <laughs> you won't be able to go into the Avatar state at all. Aang, are you okay? I'm great. He made a mistake. He made a huge mistake. I completely mastered the Avatar state. <laughs> yeah. You have to stop lying, Aang. Tell them the truth. What's taking so long? Something's not right. Mm -mm. It's tea time. Have you met the Dai Li? They're earthbenders, but they have a killer instinct that's so firebender. I just love it. I bet. Did I ever tell you how I got the nickname, the Dragon of the West? I'm not interested in a lengthy anecdote, Uncle. I am. It's more of a demonstration, really. Nice! <laughs> he is a dragon. That's amazing. He's the lightning. I love that. Come on. You'll be fine. I'm tired of running. It's time I face Azula. I don't Are you ready for that? You're so dramatic. Are you going to challenge me to an Agni Kai? I challenge you. No, thanks. Can you say no to that? Katara's fine. You have nothing to worry about. I felt so sure that she was in trouble. She's been off with your friends, the Kyoshi Warriors. They're probably back at our apartment right now talking about makeup or something. Oh, God, Sokka. If there was any danger at all, Bosco's animal instincts would sense it. What about Appa's instincts? Let's go with Appa on that one. Where is she? Zuko! Oh boy. Wonder how that's gonna work. Momo! There's no one else here. Katara is in trouble. Oh no. Wait, someone's at the door. Iro? Actually, I know who it is. It's an old friend of mine. Glad to see you're okay. I need your help. <laughs> Toph's like, no, he's he's my friend. You guys know each other? I met him in the woods once and knocked him down. Then he gave me tea and some very good advice. May I come in? I love this! Princess Azula is here in Ba Sing Se. She must have Katara. She has captured my nephew as well. Then we'll work together to fight Azula and save Katara and Zuko. Well there. You lost me at Zuko. Oh, Saka. I know how you must feel about my nephew. There is good inside him. Good inside him isn't enough. Katara's in trouble. All of Ba Sing Se is in trouble. Yeah. Working together is our best chance. Yes. I brought someone along who might be able to help us. Oh! Azula and Longfang are plotting a coup. Where are they keeping Katara? In the crystal catacombs deep beneath the palace. You can let him. Well, I mean, maybe he can let himself out. I don't know. The Fire Nation princess is cooperating. More than cooperating, she's really taken charge. She's terrifying and inspirational at the same time. <laughs> it's hard to explain. <laughs> she has that effect on a lot of people. Why did they throw you in here? Let me guess. It's a trap. So that when Aang shows up to help me, you can finally have him in your little Fire Nation clutches. Easy, Katara. You're a terrible person, you know that? Always following us, hunting the Avatar, trying to capture the world's last hope for peace? You're the Fire Lord's son. Spreading war and violence and hatred is in your blood. Oh, Katara. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't? You have no idea what this war has put me through. The Fire Nation took my mother away from me. I'm sorry. That's something <laughs> we have in common. Well, what do you know? There is an ancient city down there, but it's deep. I love having her around to do this stuff. <laughs> She's so handy. Aang, you go with Iroh to look for Katara and the Angry Jerk. No offense. I'm taken. 
and I'll go with Toph to warn the Earth King about Azula's coup. I love it. Toph thinks you give pretty good advice and great tea. The key to both is proper aging. <laughs> <laughs> I met with this guru who was supposed to help me master the avatar state, but to do it, I had to let go of someone I love. Perfection and power are overrated. I think you are very wise to choose happiness and love. Yeah, I tend to agree. Without the avatar state, what if I'm not powerful enough? Sometimes life is like this dark tunnel. You can't always see the light at the end of the tunnel, but if you just keep moving, you will come to a better place. Wow. That's beautiful. There's General Howe! Montoff, do something. What's going on here? The coup is happening right now! We've got to warn the Earth King! Oh... Thank goodness we're in time! What are you in time for? E Cutie. Uh, I'm kind of involved with Suki. Who? <laughs> Thank you, Toph! They're not the real Kyoshi warriors! Sorry to disappoint you. I love that Toph knows this. <laughs> <laughs> The bear. I can't stand Lung Feng. Oh my god. Dai Li, arrest the Fire Nation princess. Nope. I said, arrest her. Nope. What is wrong with you? She got that way about her. They're waiting to see how this is going to end. The fact is, they don't know which one of us is going to be sitting on that throne. But I know. And you know. You've beaten me at my own game. Don't flatter yourself. You were never even a player. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry I yelled at you before. For so long now, whenever I would imagine the face of the enemy, it was your face. I see. No, that's, that's not what I meant. I used to think this scar marked me, but lately, I've realized I'm free to determine my own destiny. You are? Even if I'll never be free of my mark. Maybe you could be free of it. What? I have healing abilities. Well, wait. This is water from the spirit oasis at the North Pole. I don't know if it would work, but... These two aren't gonna fall in love, are they? Aang! Oh, easy, Aang. Easy, easy, easy. Go help your other friends. We'll catch up with you. You're not the man you used to be, Zuko. You are stronger and wiser and freer than you have ever been. Yep. And now you have come to the crossroads of your destiny. It's time for you to choose good. Oh! It's not too late for you, Zuko. The kind of redemption she offers is not for you. Why don't you let him decide, Uncle? I need you, Zuko. I've plotted every move of this day, and the only way we win is together. You will have your honor back. You will have father's love. You will have everything you want. Look into your heart and see what it is that you truly want. You are free to choose. Ah! I want to know what he picked. I guess it's good that he can't go into the Avatar state because I really think Azula could probably kill him. Yeah, I forgot he can do it all, huh? Oh! oh. Really, Zuko? Dang it. Hmm. Dying the 
agents nearby? All clear. <laughs> Ah, uh, Suko. Thought for sure that we had a breakthrough. Oh, we got our hair. It's just so broken. I have changed. Wow. Okay. Come on, it's easy. You just walk on your front paws instead of your rear ones. <laughs> Take the bear. <laughs> Jeez. Shoot. Thank you, Uncle Iro. <laughs> I'll hold them off as long as I can. So, did she kill Aang? Thank God she didn't use it on Zuko. has conquered Ba Sing Se. I betrayed Uncle. No, he betrayed you. Don't Zuko, listen to her. When you return home, Father will welcome you as a war hero. But I don't have the Avatar. What if Father doesn't restore my honor? You restored your own honor. The Earth Kingdom has fallen. I knew it wasn't going to be a happy ending, but... <sighs> okay, just as I suspected, it wasn't going to have a happy ending. I personally thought something was going to happen to Katara and Sokka's father. I'm glad nothing did, at least at the end of this season. Um, Aang mastering the Avatar state. Like, I was really worried, because, like, I... I was like, well, at least if... If he's killed, then the reincarnation process will still happen. But then him being in the Avatar state and getting that bolt of lightning was just... <sighs> Katara being able to bring him back... I don't know what that means. I, I don't... I, I feel like the next entire season is just going to be getting Aang back to where he was before. But literally, like, just from the beginning of, like... The, the Earth King, like, telling Azula everything. The entire plan. 
And then Katara telling Azula about Zuko and Iroh. And I can't believe Zuko picked his sister and still the damn path of honor for the Fire Nation. Unless it's a trick, but I mean, that's a fool's hope, I think, for me right now. I'm so disappointed and I'm so upset and I know why he did it and I'm still mad. I've been very forgiving for Zuko and this one's going to be hard. This one's going to be hard. I'm I'm not happy. I'm not happy he made that choice. Uh, Azula, like, I mean, for the Dai Li to pick her over Long Fang, like, that's just a no-brainer. Because even, you know, the, the one guy from the Dai Li just being like, I don't know, she just has this way about her. And I get it. Like, she is a strong, competent, uh, fierce, slightly scary, but also um, very convincing, diabolical woman. <laughs> Like, diabolical is, like, the best word I could use to describe Azula. Um, and, of course, I, li I love May and Tai Lee, and, of course, they're essential to everything that went down. Um, but, you know, Azula, like, if she were, like, not a complete psychopath, like, she'd be a great ruler. Except she's a psychopath. You know, I, I loved the whole finding the part of the chakras and opening up the chakras and, and, and the whole part of, like, letting go of whether it's your shame or your guilt or lies that you've told yourself. Uh, but, you know, like, him letting go of Katara, I don't know why. I was just thinking about the Jedi Council and how they don't want you to have attachments, and it's the one reason why the, 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 the chosen one ends up going to the dark side is because all the attachments that he had were taken away from him. And if he was just allowed to have them, then that wouldn't have gone that way. And I think the one thing that makes Aang strong is his love, whether it is for Appa or it is for Katara or for it is his friends, for the air nomads, for everybody that he's known along the way. Like, I think that that's, what's great is that he has that love. Um, and I don't know how you let go of an attachment. I mean, I guess, time, but I don't know how you, like, meditate and release. Like, I, I don't... I guess that's why <laughs> I, I, I'm just like, no, keep the attachments, because I wouldn't know how to let go either. I love that whole visual that they had of the Avatar state. It was very um, observer from What If. I, I, I love the coloring that we had. The last two episodes, like, really, the animation didn't change, but there was a vibrancy that was there. Um, it was a really, like, a couple standout episodes. Um, but I, I loved the whole vision of releasing the chakras and him kind of revisiting things that he felt guilty about or sad about or f ashamed of and releasing those. And those things you do have to let go. Like, you know, there's, there's things that people say and do to each other every single day. You have to let it go. Except the attachment thing. I don't, I don't know how you let that go. <laughs> I don't know. There's people that, you know, have been gone for a long time. My sister has been dead for 20 years and I can't imagine letting go of that. I always want her with me. It's what I draw strength from, you know? So I would imagine him having attachments and having love and happiness, as Uncle Iroh said, you know, is, is where you, you choose to have your power come through that rather than just through sheer power and, you know, the, the ability to control, you know, I think the ability to connect is where the real strength lies personally. I'm not in line for Avatar, so <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I'll be fine. But the, the new Zuko that we had at the beginning of the episode, like, I was just like, this doesn't feel right. I don't like it. Like, not that I, like, was like, I don't like him being positive. It's just, I feel like, I feel like it felt fake or maybe overly positive or, like, you know, he didn't really let go or I don't know. But I, I'm hoping that it was a ruse. I'm hoping that, like... Him and Uncle Iroh had enough time to talk that, you know, he said, hey, let's double cross your sister and let her think that we're on her side. And uh, I, I'm hoping that's the case because I've never been so disappointed in Zuko in my life. But at the same time, it could be a ruse. Oh, God, Zuko. I'm so proud of you. I still am. I still am. The, the person that he's become over the past, you know, two seasons has been pretty amazing that, you know, that's why it's hard for me to believe that it was actually 
true for him to pick to be on his sister's side. That's why, like, in my heart of hearts, I want it to be a double cross, and I don't know if that's the case. Um, Sokka being told by his father that his father always saw him as a warrior, and and that that's why he left him in charge of the village, and that he is proud of him. Ugh! I think Sokka needed to hear that. That's something that he will draw strength from for a really long time. Now we have the Earth King. I don't know what we're going to do with him. He seems slightly useless. Um, especially, like, without having the Earth Kingdom. But, like, maybe they could be like, this is the Earth King. Ba Sing Se fell. You know, like, there is no more war. There is now a war at Ba Sing Se. Or is there a war? I don't know. Ba Sing Se is in control of the people that uh, had been trying to breach those walls for a really long time. And kudos to Azula for getting it done. Like, I don't like that it's not the side I'm siding with. But, like, she got it done. Speaking of somebody who got it done... Hello, Toph. Metal Bender. <laughs> I love that for her. I love that for her. Uh, the, the fact that, like, they they were talking about, like, like that everything is one. And, and really, the Avatar is the thing that encapsulates all of that. The Avatar is everybody in one. The fact that Toph can bend metal because uh, metal essentially comes from the Earth... Uh, that's just brilliant. And you know what? With Zinfu and Master Yu, may they enjoy their life together. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it in a kind of macabre term, uh, they could die in there and then their bodies and whatnot will rot. And that's unfortunate. I mean, if they get found and people are able to separate that or get them out of there, cool. I mean, I don't want anyone to really die that way, but at the same time, if we never hear or see from them again, <sighs> gonna have to accept that as the worst possible scenario occurred for them. Yikes. Yeah, do we have the bear? Do we have the Earth King's bear riding on Appa? Do we have a bear on top of an Appa? <laughs> what? <laughs> so I'm guessing we're gonna go back to the Eastern Air Temple, maybe? Or we're going to find Sokka's father with the Water Tribe. It seems like they would actually be closer. I don't I don't know who else we can trust at this point. I don't know. I, I, I really was hoping that, like, Uncle Iroh would get away and we could take Uncle Iroh with us. But that's why I also think that it's a bit of a ruse. Or maybe a double cross. But guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to these episodes, they will be available on my Patreon. Uh, season 3 will be starting on this, so if you're currently watching this on YouTube, Season 3 will be available on Patreon. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I don't even know what to ask you guys, because you guys know. You guys know. You guys know. Okay, I'll just say, were you shocked, one, about Azula attacking Aang in the Avatar State? Uh, or were you shocked about Zuko? joining up with Azula and fighting against Uncle Iroh. Again, I don't know where all these go. Aang could be perfectly fine and be able to get back into that Avatar state with the uh, Guru's help, and it might be a ruse or a double cross. Um, but, like, at the end of this finale, were you shocked? Because I'm still very shocked. Shell-shocked. Just stunned. I don't even know what to think right now. Ugh! But I, I think um, next season is when we're going to get the new voice actor for Uncle Iroh. And while that is sad, um, I'm glad that he didn't die at the end of this season. That would have made me absolutely sad. Um, so I'm, I'm happy that we can carry on with Uncle Iroh. It'll be different, but it'll be good. I'm sure of it. But guys, I'm going to go um, stare at a wall and contemplate life for a while because I am not happy about how that ended. <laughs> but also, uh, give myself a little break before season three. <sighs> just a mental one. I just... I'm not ready to say goodbye. Okay, guys. I will say goodbye to you, though, right now. So, with that being said, I will see ya. Soon. Hopefully. I'm so sad.